Welcome to MathLearners.com. In this video, we are going to see a very important technique in Vedic mathematics, which is called as Winkelum process. Let's say suppose we want to subtract these two numbers, number one minus number two. As observed, each digit of number one is greater than that of each dig corresponding digit of number two. So the subtraction is very straightforward. But the problem arises whenever the digits in number two are greater than that of number one, as lots of carry forwards are required to be taken, and and few people are not very much comfortable when it comes to taking carry forwards. More problems arises whenever we have to do subtraction from zeros as many people are not sure whether to take 9 or 10. Such difficulty is resolved to a great extent using Vedic mathematics. Use a process called as Winkelum processes in Vedic mathematics which resolves this difficulty to a great extent. Before looking how to do subtraction using Vedic mathematics, let's first see what is Winkelum process. Let's say suppose we have a number 157 In place value system this number can be written as 1 multiplied by 100 plus 5 multiplied by 10 plus 7 If we solve this then obviously we will get this as 157 Let's say suppose we have a number like 157 and a bar is present over 5 this indicates that 5 is a negative digit. So in place value system this can be written as 1 multiplied by 100 minus 5 multiplied by 10 plus 7. So if we solve this then we will get this as 57. Such type of numbers where at least one digit is a negative digit is called as Winkelum number or a bar number and the digit which is a negative digit is called as Winkelum digit or a bar digit. So as observed a Winkelum number is converted to a normal number. Let's take another example. Let's say suppose we have 2, 3, 4, 5 where bar is present over 3 and 4. So in place value system this can be written as 2 multiplied by 1000 minus 3 multiplied by 100 minus 4 multiplied by 10 plus 5 so if we solve this then this will be obtained as 5 6 6 1 we can we can skip this step and directly convert a Winkelum number to a normal number using a procedure Let's say suppose we want to con uh, we have a Winkelum number as six seven two bar three bar five six three bar two bar three bar and eight. Let's say we want to convert this Winkelum number to a normal number. So we follow the procedure from right to left. Find first bar digit and take its tens complement. In this first bar digit is 3 bar. So this 8 will be written as it is. And take tens complement of 3. So it comes as 7. We could do the step 2a. If the next digit is again a bar digit. In this case, yes, next digit is 2 bar. So we take its 9's complement. So 9's complement of 2 comes as 7. Continue taking 9's complement till a non-bar digit is obtained. As the next digit is again a bar digit, so we take its 9's complement. So it comes as 6. As the next digit is a non-bar digit, we go to the step B. It says decrement the non-bar digit by 1. So we decrement 6 by 1, so it comes as 5. 
go to the step 3 it says continue 1 and 2 so we go to the step 1 it says find first bar digit and take its tens complement so the first bar digit now is 3 bar so we write 5 as it is and we take tens complement of 3 3 that comes as 7 go to the step 2 a if the next digit is again a bar digit in this case yes it is a bar digit so we take its 9's complement so 9's complement of 2 comes as 7 as the next digit is a non bar digit so we go to the step b it says decrement it by 1 so decrementing it by 1 gives us 6 go to the step 3 it says continue 1 find first bar digit and take its 10's complement in this case there is no bar digit left so we write 6 as it is so this is your normal number let's take another problem 5 2 bar 1 bar 1 3 2 7 bar 8 bar 2 3 bar 5 so we follow the same procedure from right to left find first bar digit so the first bar digit in this case in this case is 3 bar so we write 5 as it is take tens complement of take tens complement of 3 so it comes as 7 as the next digit is a non bar digit we decrement it by 1 so decrementing it by 1 gives 1 we go to the step 3 it says continue with step 1 find first bar digit so the first bar digit here is 8 so we take its tens complement so it comes as 2 as the next digit is again a bar digit we take its nines complement so it comes as 2 as the next digit is a non bar digit we decrement it by 1 so it comes as 1 go to the step 3 it says continue with 1 find first bar digit in this case first bar digit now is 1 bar so we write 1 and 3 as it is and take tens complement of that bar digit so tens complement of 1 gives 9 if the next bar digit is again a bar digit in this case yes next digit is again a bar digit so we take its nines complement so it comes as 7 as the next digit is a non bar digit we decrement it by 1 so it comes as 4 so that's your answer now let's come back to our subtraction So the process we follow, we can follow from either right to left or left to right but we, we will follow from right to left approach. So the pro as it is a bigger digit minus smaller digit, we write this as 3. Since it is a smaller minus bigger, we, we do bigger minus smaller and a bar over it. So it will come as 6 bar as the next one is again smaller minus bigger so we do bigger minus smaller and a bar over it so it comes as 5 bar next one is again a smaller minus bigger so we write do bigger minus smaller and a bar over it next one is bigger minus smaller so that can be written as 6 directly next one is 3 minus 6 so it will be written as 3 bar next one is 2 minus 5 so it can be written as 3 bar next one is bigger minus smaller so that can be written as 5 so as observed this is a win column number and we can convert a win column number to a normal number using the same procedure so this 3 will be written as as it is take tens complement of 6 so that comes as 4 next one is a bar digit so take its nines complement so it comes as 4 next one is again a bar digit so take its nines complement so it comes as 3 next one is a non bar digit so decrement it by 1 so it comes as 5 next one is a bar digit so 
take tens complement of that so it comes as 7 next one is again a bar digit so take its nines complement so that comes as 6 next one is a non bar digit so decrement it by 1 so it comes as 4 that's your answer and it matches with our usual method subtraction let's do it for this one so we go from right to left 5 minus 3 gives 2 3 minus 8 will give 5 bar 2 minus 9 will give 7 bar 0 minus 7 will give 7 bar 8 minus 2 gives 6 0 minus 5 gives 5 bar 0 minus 3 gives 3 bar and 6 minus 2 gives us 4 this is a pin column number let's convert to a normal number so this 2 will be written as it is 10's complement of 5 gives us 5 9's complement of 7 gives us 2 9's complement of 7 gives us 2 decrement 6 by 1 so it comes as 5 10's complement of 5 gives 5 9's complement of 3 gives us 6 and decrement 4 by 1 so it comes as 3 so this is your answer